What's up creatives? So for today, I'm just going to document what I do. I'm gonna hang out in the lab and just see what happens. My buddy Tom is coming over, he plays the drums and we're gonna jam some. So that should be cool. And I'm thinking about maybe doing another solo mini Moog improvisation performance. So this video is gonna be a little unorganized. I'm gonna use it more or less as like a creative journal, you know, but in video form. So yeah, this was gonna be a little random. We'll see what we can do. stumbles and I always hope the, that the drums were covered up <laughs> and then when I listen back and I hear no it didn't I'm like ooh. yeah but I find that nobody ever hears that shit but you I mean I, I like it I don't know you know I'm, I'm too close to it and, you know usually a month later I'll think oh it's okay but we're hearing it right back <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah I, no I know I, exactly I, it's hard it's hard for me to judge like I talk about a lot here on this channel and that I've been trying to experiment with when I'm tapping back into the, the free playing is not not judging it you know what I mean um, feel like you said when you come back and listen to it especially with these kind of jams but uh, I notice when I come back it's always kind of cool and I'm trying I mean it even though it might not sound like it to do less to create space instead yeah. of even though I feel like I'm playing over the whole thing it's not as much as we used to do yeah. with the sax and drums you know So Tom rolled out. I think I'm going to sit down here with the Model D and do an improvisation. Um, before before he left, we were doing a jam, and I worked my way into a sound that I really dig. So I was like, hmm, might use that. We ran out of tape on the 388 when we were recording, so it was not recorded. Gotta love that. Yeah, so we're going to sit down here with Model D and just creep around over some cool tones. You know what I'm saying?
One thing that's been on my mind, the other day someone uh, commented on uh, my mini Moog improvisation and they were talking about not having presets means they're not buying the synth. Um, that's totally cool if that's your style. For me though, I like the exploration idea, you know what I mean? The idea to just explore. You know what I mean? To just creep through sounds and manipulate the sound and um, it's not only is the playing a journey, but the turning of the knobs and what you might get is a journey, you know? And some people have talked about the Mini Moog, the Model D being limited compared to other synthesizers. And though I understand that, I like the simplicity of it, you know what I mean? I like every time I sit down with it, I know there are several sounds I can get out of it. Sounds that my brain really likes. Sounds that are in my mind, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. To each their own, I guess, but I definitely dig not having presets. Though I'm not against it, this bad boy is perfect just the way it is. If you're a Mini Moog pilot, you know the deal. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> Well, buddy. Yo, I'm up here now. We're feeding the cows. My dad's on the skid steer with Junie. He likes to ride on it. folks hope you dug it in a pretty cool day chill day weather's nice good to be back outside you know spring vibes in the air unorganized creative journal it's just what i did today so drop a comment hit that like button subscribe and you know the deal stay cool stay creative and keep on keeping on people oh <laughs> <laughs>